Seen Blade is the deadliest. Yo guys, this game is against Malzahar. I went a standard electrocute page with Scorch. I think Scorch is a bit decent because it focuses Malzahar when you just land your Q. And it also makes his passive have a slightly longer cooldown than if you don't have Scorch. Also, we go teleport and flash. Uh, trying new builds, went Ghost Blade into Profane, so technically I have movement speed and wave clear. And we also go teleport and flash. So with teleport, the goal is to have like even more, I guess, presence. But yeah, that's the goal. Let's see how this game went. I end up going for a latish ward on the enemy wraiths, but notice how I go at around 124. Uh, I face check the bush and that allows me time to run back towards my minions. Whereas if I had no minions and I went earlier, then, you know, Malzahar could have been in the bush and he would have chased me a lot further down to poke me out a lot harder. So that's just something to keep in mind. You want to kind of, if you want to face check the bush on the left or right, then make sure you do it at 120 or 124, sorry. And that way you can run back to your minions just in case. And right here. It's a standard matchup of Zed versus Mage, where you just, you know, let them push and then try not to Q too much. I think my first Q on the first two melee minions is gone by now, but it was pretty bad because the backline minions got hit. And right here, it's good. He uses his wave or he uses his spell on my wave and I dodged it, but then I use my W, which is very, very bad. And I get hit by all his spells. And now I'm just like, well, I'm such a griefer, but also I have teleport, so... Like, that's a good reason to go teleport if you just feel like, I don't know, if you're just like having a bad day in terms of league and you kind of just want to play, I would advise you to just go teleport because it will probably help you a lot and just save your day, in my opinion. But yeah, if I didn't use that W, it would have been great because the wave was going to push towards me. Either way, it's completely fine. We poke him a bit. And the good thing against Malzahar, or a good thing to do against Malzahar is to... Use your W EQ before his passive comes back up. Because your W cooldown is lower than his passive cooldown. Um, I mean, I got it back on cooldown with my Q there, but I didn't really need to. Because I'm just going to W EQ. So, I'm going to walk up and W EQ, surely. Okay, there we go. W E, take the W, Q, auto, and then he flashes, and we flash auto, and we kill him. So even with my mistake, I'm able to kill him because Malzahar is letting me hit him with Qs. He's wasting too much mana. And yeah, I'm using my W kind of off cooldown, which is kind of what you want to do against Malzahar. You want to Q first to get his passive and then use your W EQ um, when your Q is back up. And that way you can kind of win the trades. I want to show you guys a rookie mistake that you can make against Malzahar. So he's used his poison and his little voidlings on my melee minions, but then I walk up and I use WEQ. So the poison spread to me on my way back. Um, Galio being here is kind of annoying as well, so I lose more health. But the main issue there is if he has poison and voidlings on your melee minions, it's best to just Q the voidlings and just wait it out a bit more patiently. Whereas if you do what I did there, obviously you can get poked out. But I end up staying because I'm about to be level 6 and I see that Lee Sin is around me and he could probably help me. I also know that I am ahead in XP because I killed Miles Heart earlier. So yeah, right here when you want to gank with a Lee Sin, use your WE and then walk towards Lee a bit. You can take the W and Q if you want Lee to W, you know, further. I'm just missing all my spells, but it's fine. But yeah, you can kind of use your W to help Lee Sin gap close even more onto the enemy. And yeah, we get a free kill and I shove the cannon wave. Okay, now I'm back in lane. I have Pickaxe, Dirk and Longsword. I queue the Malzahar to get his passive down. I check my flash. It's also 70 seconds. And as we saw earlier, his flash is the same cooldown. So this is a good little combo you can use to all in a Malzahar with no flash. Even if he has ult, you walk up, you WE, you ult, you take your W and you Q all at the same time. And then he'll ult you. But if you buffer your Qs, which you can do most of the time, you will kill him unless he is like very good and he times his silence very well onto your ult. Then it will be like really, really hard. But, you know, no Malzahar is going to do that because you're Wing and then you're ulting and you're taking your W. You're not taking your ult shadow, which has a delay. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward and you spam your Qs to make sure they come out. Now I have Ghostblade and Boots. I want to show you guys a risky combo that you can use against Malzahar and mages in general. So we WQE the wave, 
just to keep their guard down or get their guard down and then take your W, you ult, you E and then you Q straight away. And then at the end, I didn't know if the Galio was going to save him with Guardian or something. So I just went into that. Or oh, I guess he has Aftershock, but still, I felt like the Mausahal would probably live. So we just flash auto and make sure he dies. Now we got this little fight here. Uh, Kaysante support, by the way. Um, but yeah, we just run away because I can't do anything. I'm too low. So Mausahal has gone to base and I use my W to clear the wave. And this is something, like, as Zed, we need to be a bit more careful of, especially in Split 3, because I have Ghost Blade, I have zero haste, except for my Transcendence. So my W wouldn't really come up if I teleport. You know, it's still on, like, a 5-second cooldown. But the only reason I teleport is because Lee Sin is here, and I know Lee Sin is pretty fed. So we can just TP and get the free kill. But in general, it's good to be a bit more careful using your W on the wave uh, when you have low haste, especially... With this Ghost Blade build, I should be a bit more patient and just use Q and E. So now I have Ghost Blade Profane. I just want to shove waves and help my team. Um, but right here, I'm thinking maybe I can kill Malzahar. And as soon as I use W, I see everyone else. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I would flash away, but then Galio was also there. I'm pretty sure he would catch me. So that combo right there is something you can kind of do. Where you take your W, you ult, and then you Q and you flash at the same time. To create some more distance and combo the person on the way out. Um, but then after that, we run away. Malzahar obviously lived with 1 HP. Never lucky. We W away, praying that the Jin doesn't hit me because I'm just flipping it. And then we Q. And it's very important to play safe and stay back when you're low. Just so you don't die. And luckily we get two kills. So Garen comes mid and Malzahar goes top just to catch waves and stuff. And as I'm recalling, I want to make sure I'm watching the top fight because I see my teleport is coming up. And uh, there's a ward behind the Malzahar. He's trying to get the tower. I want to stop him because if I stop him, then I can get the um, first tower. We kill him. Our tower is 1 HP, which is great. And paying assistance on mid because we want to try and get the first one. But then I realize we have six grubs. So that means they have no grubs and we'll probably just get it. Um, so we have 800 gold, we take this, we have 1400 gold, just a fat chunk. And a way to get away from Malzahar right here is he's used his little terrain spell, which means I'm going to want to W over a wall. And that's very important, especially if he has red buff like that. Because if I just W away in a straight line, he would follow me and run me down. So it's just some things there to keep in mind. Um, just be nice and patient, take, take it nice and slow when you're trying to run away. And yeah. We get so much gold from this. So I want to show you guys the combo against Malzahar again. When we all in. He has no Zonias. So we know we can do this. WE. I walk up and I auto. Because I know I'm going to go under tower. And I want to use my ult to dodge the tower shots. And in general as Zed. If you want to use your ult to dodge a tower shot. You should auto E. Or something like that. Before you ult. Right there I just want my. Um, or right there I want to use my E to get his passive. But most of the time, you just walk up, auto E, you walk up, and use your W, WW, -W, auto E, and then tank a tower shot, and then ult. So there's a lot of variations, but the general gist or rule of thumb is use your ult to dodge the tower shot, but right before you ult, use an auto E or just use some sort of spells because you have low cooldowns and you can kind of abuse that in the mid to late game. I'm going to show you guys a pretty unskilled combo. So I'm very fed. I have three items and a ruby crystal at 20 minutes. We just straight up run this gin down. We use W, Q, W, Auto, E. Um, and then we ult afterwards. But the key thing there is I have Ghost Blade. So it made it a lot easier to just stick to him. So I feel like Ghost Blade on this patch has some potential. Thinking about it. The active is decent. So after I take the tower and the next wave. On the other end, in top lane, my Camille died. So I want to recall. Advise the components for Edge of Night. And as I TP here, I know I'm going to run him down with home guards and ghost plate active. We just use a W straight away. We ult onto him, auto E. Use profane E to get another W. W onto him before he one shots me with one spell. And we use the Qs on the Galio as well. Um, so even though I'm really fed, this Garen is pretty strong as well. And he can kind of just one shot me, which is a bit wild. But yeah, we get a few kills. And we get Baron, which is quite lucky. And now I'm really fed, I'm taking the red buff, I pop Ghost Blade and I'm like, ah, oh, red buff is 1 HP, but I want to kill this Jin in a very unskilled way. 
WW, Auto E, Profane, Auto again, he's dead. After shoving top, I move mid lane with my team. And when you're sieging the inhibitor tower, it's important to stay on the sides, either the left or the right. So I come in from the left, we just W straight onto the Malzahar, and then we flash ult onto Jin, knowing that I'm going to auto E and get a W, and then Q him. But then Garen kills me because he's unskilled. And yeah, we kill Garen and we end the game. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. In